summer, some friends and I went to Bergen, Norway for the very first time. We spent our week there exploring the city and the surrounding nature. We made some great memories on this trip and I'd like to share them with you any way I can. On my first day in town, I spent the day exploring and discovering downtown Bergen. There were lots of tourists around and a ton of shops to check out. On my way downtown, I even stopped the local art museum. Afterwards, I made my way to the University Gardens. They had lots of exotic flowers and plants that you could spend hours walking through. After the gardens, I went to the St. John's Cathedral, which was nearby. It was one of the largest churches in the entire city. It was super colorful and exactly what you picture Scandinavia to look like. Behind the Bregan alleys was a nice church where I was able to stop and enjoy my lunch. After lunch, I passed the local carnival and found the Bergen Fortress. I'm currently at the fortress in Bergen. Here's the view. You could even see the harbor with all of its ships from the top of the fortress. They still had the old military cannons too. After seeing the fortress, I made my way back to the harbor in search of the second fortress in Bergen. up passing tons of shops, streets, and churches on my search. But eventually I found the hidden fortress. It wasn't much to look at, but because it was so high up, it had a great view of the city. fortress. This one has a good view too. Once I was done at the fortress, I found a local street which led right to Nordis Park. a beautiful view of the city. It's really cool. Not only did this park have a great view of the fjord, but it also had trees and a totem pole.
My favorite part though was probably the pier which you could go swimming from. It was just a bit too cold for that today. Apparently boating is still popular on rainy days though. After a full day of exploring, we decided to end the day with a fancy sushi dinner. Our second day started with an early morning hike up Mount Floyan. This is one of the shortest and most popular hikes you can do from Bergen because the trailhead literally begins in city center. The visitor center and views are pretty spectacular too. Bergen is such a nice city, mm -hmm. and then like people from Oslo should be moving to Bergen. It's a Bergen PSA. <laughs> <laughs> Got any words on Bergen? Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty nice weather, and mm -hmm. I'm happy. Woo Keep an eye out for the cute troll forest on top of the mountain too. <laughs> How do you find Bergen so far? I feel at home in Bergen. I feel like my soul energy wavelength mm. is resonating with my feet and I'm just exploring all of Bergen and very peaceful and happy to be with friends. Oh. And yeah, I love it here. After hiking, we enjoyed some ice cream and sat back to take in the views. There were also a lot of cute goats on top of the mountain, but you weren't allowed to feed or pet them. Yeah. After a while on top of the mountain, we decided to hike down the other side to explore more of the city. While exploring the city, we found the Fantastav Viking Church. Later that night, we had a great group dinner and went down to the ocean for sunset.
For our third and final day in Bergen, we all decided to book a group tour on the fjord. This fjord would take us straight to Motstraumen, one of the most beautiful and scenic fjords in all of Norway. After leaving the port, we quickly discovered how insanely windy it gets on the fjords. We still managed to stay up on deck for a little bit though. But we quickly returned to the safety down below. Pretty soon the city began to disappear and turned into seaside mountains. There were still a few small towns along the way, but those were few and far between. Once we left the towns behind, we started approaching the famous Norwegian fjord cliffs. We saw a lot of waterfalls too. The wind was starting to get to us, but we tucked it out to enjoy the views of the fjord. Several hours on the fjord later, we finally made it to our destination of Motstraumen. The captain even parked the boat right up to a waterfall so passengers could go up and fill the water. After some time at the waterfalls though, we had to make our way back into town. The return trip though was just as gorgeous as the boat ride in.
Before we knew it, we were passing Bregan and preparing to dock in the Bergen Harbor. Once on dry land, we decided to get some lunch at a cute little hot dog stand and then go back to Bregan to do some shopping. One of the craziest shops by far had to be the year-round Christmas store. They had literally anything Christmas that you could possibly think of. We also stopped at souvenir shops and galleries. After shopping, we walked back to our Airbnb to enjoy our final night in Bergen. I made a lot of good memories in Bergen, and I can't wait to return soon.